Please be seated. Uh, <coughs> Chancellor, President, Vice President, members of council, registrars, heads of schools, colleagues and distinguished guests. You're all very welcome to the conferring ceremonies at RCSI this evening. Before formally declaring opening the conferring ceremonies of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland and the National University of Ireland, I'd like to first introduce the platform party. At the table to the front, on your right, is Dr. Morris Manning, Chancellor of the National University of Ireland, and Mr. Declan McGee, President of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. At the back row on the stage, again from your right, is Dr. Attracta Halpin, Registrar of the National University of Ireland, Ms. Leonie Clark, President of the Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland, Professor John Highland, Vice President of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Ms. Marita Kinsella, Registrar of the Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland, Ms. Fiona Mitchell, Regulation and Records Manager, RCSI, Ms. Judith Gilroy, Associate, Professor, Associate Director of Academic Affairs at RCSI, Professor Paul Gallagher, Head of the School of Pharmacy at RCSI, Professor Neve Moran, Head of the School of Postgraduate Studies, RCSI, and my name is Cahal Kelly, Chief Executive of RCSI. I'd now like to invite all the graduates to stand, and I call on the Registrar of the National University of Ireland to open the ceremonies. If the graduates could please stand. Universitas Hiberniae Nationalis. Pre honorabilis cancellariae. Totoque Universitas. Hic Comitia Universitaria. Hodie Convocata Sunt. Ut he mulieres maxime eximie et he viri maxime eximi ad grados academicos admitantur. This is a meeting of the National University of Ireland for the purpose of conferring degrees. The graduands will be presented by Professor Cahill Kelly, Chief Executive and Registrar of RCSI, and the degrees will be conferred by Dr. Morris Manning, Chancellor of the National University of Ireland. Would the graduates for the degree of Master of Pharmacy only please remain standing? Other graduates could sit. I'd now like to invite Professor Paul Gallagher, Head of the School of Pharmacy at RCSI, to come forward to the lectern to recite the graduate declaration. I now invite the graduates in Master of Pharmacy to recite after me the following declaration which is located on page eight of the conferring booklet. I will practice my profession in pharmacy with conscience and dignity. If you, just, you can just repeat after me, so if we start again. I will practice my profession in pharmacy with conscience and dignity. The health of my patient will be my first concern. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will remember that there is art to my profession as well as science, and that warmth, sympathy, and understanding may outweigh treatment alone. I will respect the confidential information that is entrusted in me even after the patient has died. I will not permit considerations of age disease or disability, creed, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any other factor to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will not use my professional knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties, even under threat. I will respect the hard-won scientific gains of those in whose steps I walk and gladly share such knowledge with those that follow. I will abide by the code of conduct of my profession in pharmacy, and I will promote high standards of practice, lifelong education and research in the interest of human health. I 
I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honour. I invite the graduates to remain standing as I present you for conferring. Pray honorabilis cancellari totique universitas, presento vobus hasmeus filius et hasmeus filios, quos omni si tamaribus quam doctrina habiles et neus esse quae admitter ad graduam magisteri in pharmacia, idique tibi fide mea testor, expondeo totique academiae. Ego auctoritata mihi concessa, Admito vos at Grado Magisteri in Pharmacia. I invite Professor Paul Gallagher, head of the School of Pharmacy at RCSI, to come forward to introduce the graduates. I will now invite each graduate to come forward to receive your parchments. Neve Bourne. Indra Nevidomskita. Sarah Jane Slashery. The following candidates are being conferred in absentia today, and if you're watching via live stream, we wish you congratulations on your achievement. Those candidates are David Ajay, Peter Crowley, Aileen Gagan, Helen Karchenko, Avril Keane, Fergus Francis Lynch, Mary Michelle McCarthy, Yolanta Poscovita. Thank you. Would the graduates of the Master of Science, Doctor of Medicine, and Doctor of Philosophy please be upstanding as I invite Professor Neve Moran, head of the School of Postgraduate Studies at RCSI, to come forward to recite the graduate declaration. I now invite the graduates of Master of Science, Doctor of Medicine, and Doctor of Philosophy to recite after me the following declaration, which is located on page nine of the conferring booklet. I acknowledge my position at the forefront of my field of learning and scholarship. I understand my responsibility to use this learning to contribute and lead in my community. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will respect the confidential information that is entrusted in me. I will not permit considerations of age, disease or disability, creed, ethnic, or, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any other factor to interfere with my duties in my chosen profession. I will not use my knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties, even under threat. I will respect the hard-won scientific gains of those in whose steps I walk, and gladly share such knowledge with those that follow. I will promote high standards of practice, lifelong education and research in the interest of human health. I make these promises solemnly, freely and upon my honour. Okay, I now ask the candidates of Master of Science only to remain standing. I now present the graduates of the Master of Science for conferring. 
Pre Honorabilis Cancellari Totoque Universitas, Presento Vobus Hasmeus Filias, Quos omni si tam moribus, quam doctrina habiles et aeneas esse quae admitter, ad graduam magisteri scientiae, idique tibi fide mea testor, expondeo totique academiae. Ego auctoritata mihi concessa, admitum admitto vos ad grada magisteri scientiae. If I could ask Professor Neve Moran, head of the School of Postgraduate Studies at RCSI, to come forward to introduce the graduates. I will now invite each graduate to come forward to receive your parchment. Alicia Cox, for her thesis entitled The Development of an Assay to Evaluate the Efficacy of a Novel GP1B Antagonist and the Functional Characterization of the Drug. <laughs> Elodie Hirschenhaun, for her thesis entitled development of a systems medicine platform to attempt predicting therapy responsiveness of colorectal cancer patients from quantitative histopathological immunofluorescence data. <laughs> and Siobhan McFadden for her thesis entitled an exploration of the psychological indicators of aspirin adherence in patients with stable coronary artery disease using a direct assay measurement. I now invite graduates for the Doctor of Medicine to be upstanding for the conferring. Pre honorabilis cancellari, totique universitas, presento vobus, hunc meum filium, quesio tam moribus quam doctrina habilem et aneum esse qui admitter, ad graduam doctoratus in medicina, idique tibi fide meo testor, expondeo totique academiae. The Chancellor. Ego autoritata mihi contesso. Admito uh, vos ad gradum doctoratus in medicina. I now invite Professor Neve Moran, head of the School of Postgraduate Studies, to come forward to introduce the graduates. I will now invite each graduate to come forward to receive your parchments. Morris Clancy, for his thesis entitled Psychiatric and Psychosocial Comorbidity Before and One Year After Epilepsy Surgery. Anna Rakovic Tisdal for her thesis entitled Serum Messenger RNA Protein Biomarkers and Metabolomic Profiling in Diabetes Mellitus. <laughs> and Ashwant Ramesh for his thesis entitled Assessment of Collagen Based Tissue Engineering Strategies for Articular Cartilage Repair. I now invite the graduates of the Doctor of Philosophy to be upstanding as I present them for conferring. Pre honorabilis cancellari totique universitas, presento vobus hasmeus filius et hosmeus filios, quos omni si tam moribus, quam doctrina habiles et aeneas esse quae admitter, ad graduam doctoratus, philo doctoratus philosophiae, idique tibi fide mea testor, expondeo totique academiae. Ego auctoritata mihi concessa, admitto vos ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae. Professor Neve Moran will introduce the graduates. I will now invite each graduate to come forward to receive your parchments. Um, James Column Duffy, for his thesis entitled Studies Concerning the Preparation of Enantiopure Intermediates for the Manufacture of Diagnostics. Owen McCarthy for his thesis entitled Dysregulation of Cytokine and Monocyte Function in Systemic Lupus Erythematosa. <laughs> Paul McKiernan for his 
thesis entitled MicroRNA and Other Non-Coding RNA in Cystic Fibrosis, Gender Differences and Therapeutic Potential. Kira O'Dwar for her thesis entitled An Investigation into Therapies Targeting the Inflammatory Response in Alpha-1 Antitrypsin Deficiency. <laughs> James Reck for his thesis entitled Synthesis of Unnatural C Nucleosides for DNA-Based Catalysis. Esna Sexton for her thesis entitled Pathways and Protective Factors Modeling the Effect of Chronic Conditions on Quality of Life in Midlife and Older Irish Adults. And Emmett Thompson for his thesis entitled The In Vivo Functionality of Collagen Based Scaffolds for Orthopedic Tissue Repair. The following candidates will be conferred in absentia today, so if they're watching via live stream, we wish them congratulations on their achievements. They are Rosemary Nalwanga, Deirdre Sweetman, and Christopher Whelan. Pre honorabilis can calariae, totoque universitas, Ceremonies rite confectis, queso facies finem, huius convocationis universitariae. That completes the NUI and OCSI conferring ceremony. It's uh, now my great pleasure to invite the newly minted Dr. Esna Sexton to come forward and deliver the student address on behalf of half of the class of 2015. Presidents, chancellors, professors, dean, registrar, fellow graduates, family and friends. Um, I'd firstly like to thank the uh, School of Postgraduate Studies for giving me the opportunity to speak to you today as a representative of the postgraduate class. Um, we are all graduating today from many different disciplines, but I suspect that we all share many of the same experiences. We have all experienced setbacks. An experiment that did not work out, data that would not behave, ideas that would not transfer to the page. At the same time, there have also been small victories along the way. An accepted abstract, a completed chapter, a submitted paper. And usually, after each milestone of celebration, yet another setback happened. But today, we can finally say, once and for all, that we did it. I've checked, and they've assured me that they can't take it away from us. So congratulations, everyone. Well done. Today is also the day that we have the opportunity to thank all of the people who helped us along the way. I don't think that any of us could have made it here without the help of our family and friends. Endless encouragement, distraction when we needed it, and generally putting up with us, especially in those final horrible few months of thesis write-up. So again, on behalf of the postgraduate class, I'd like to thank all of our family and friends for their support. I'd like to say that this is all for you, but we know that's not really true. Um, so uh, then there's, uh, finally, I'd like to talk about RCSI. Um, I'm graduating today as part of the Sphere program, uh, which used to be called the Health Research Board, uh, PhD Scholars Programme in Health Services Research, now called SPHERE. I think you can see what they did there. Um, I could not have hoped for better support and guidance from the, my supervisors and all of the other academic and support staff um, in the programme. I'm also very grateful to be part of a very special community of students. We learned from each other. We offered a sympathetic ear for the occasional rant or even meltdown. And more importantly, we, we helped each other along the way. We've all graduated at different times, but we've helped each other immensely um, to get there. 
I graduate today with a, a great professional network, but also friends that I know that I will have for life. And so on behalf of the postgraduate class, I'd like to say thank you to all of the RCI staff and students for all their support. Today, we are all entering a new phase of our lives. The opportunity to study is a huge privilege, and I hope that we get the opportunity to use what we have learned in RCSI to make a positive impact on the world, no matter where we end up. I also hope that we have the opportunity to pass on our skills and knowledge to the next generation of postgraduate students and to support them in the way that we have been supported. So, thank you very much for listening. That's my bit finished. Um, and I really hope you have a well-deserved celebration. Congratulations again. It's now my great pleasure to introduce the President of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Mr. Declan McGee, to address the guests. Uh, Chancellor NUI, registrars, Vice President, RCSI, members of Council, members of Medicine and Health Sciences Board, Dean and Head of Schools, academic colleagues, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, and especially our new graduates. It is a great pleasure and a privilege for me to welcome you all here to the College for this special occasion, the Higher Degrees Conferring Ceremony. And congratulations certainly to Ethel on her wonderful speech to us all just now, and the uh, confidence of coming up here without a note in her hand. Uh, I've been doing a lot of speeches, I still like to have the notes in front of me, fantastic. So I would like to especially welcome Ms Leonie Clark, President of the Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland, and Ms Marita Kinsler, Registrar of the Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland. We also extend a warm welcome to your families and friends, many making their first visit to our college, who have come to share in the celebration of your achievements. Almost 50 years ago, as a pre-med student, I went to the Green Cinema, which was next door to here, to fall in love with Julie Christie, in the wonderful movie Far From the Madding Crowd, which has just now been remade to allow a new generation fall in love with Kerry Mulligan. This evening, far from the madding crowd of tomorrow's huge medicine graduation, we have a combined and select conferring of the Masters in Pharmacy program and from the School of Postgraduate Studies, degrees of Master of Science, Doctor of Medicine and Doctor of Philosophy. The college is privileged and proud to be part of the process of quality improvement in pharmacy by providing the Masters in Pharmacy program for the Council of the Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland, the competent authority for the profession of pharmacy in Ireland. I congratulate those who have graduated with the Master in Pharmacy this evening. This major award marks the successful completion of your internship year, a particularly demanding 12 months in which you must complete the academic requirements of the program, undertake your supervised duties in designated training establishments, and succeed in your professional registration examination. On your behalf, and on behalf of the RCSI and PSI, I formally acknowledge and thank the tutors and trainers who have extended their expertise and experience to you, the new generation of pharmacists. Thanks to their endeavors and to the faculty in RCSI, you are now prepared for independent, autonomous practice. With regard to our RCSI faculty, I am happy to congratulate Mr. Matthew Lynch as the new program director of the National Pharmacy Internship Program. In common with other healthcare professionals, you share a vocation of caring. I urge you to always place the patient at the heart of your practice and to employ your unique expertise in medicines so as to benefit your patient, the health service, and wider society. I am happy to say that you will continue to engage with RCSI as you now become members of the Irish Institute of Pharmacy, the leadership body for pharmacy. The Institute, located here in RCSI, under the most capable directorship of Dr. Katrina Bradley, will ensure that your knowledge and skills continue to evolve and meet the needs and expectations of your patients. And so to the postgraduate recipients of higher degrees by research. The graduating list included three Masters of Science, three MDs, and ten PhDs. Not all could be here for this evening's event, but congratulations to all of you. Well done. Reflecting the breadth of our health sciences offering, our graduates this evening, who include career scientists and doctors, a nurse and a psychologist, have studied topics from the basic sciences, biological sciences, medicine and surgery. 
we acknowledge the enormous effort of research and intellectual input that has gone into obtaining these degrees, which have been examined against the highest international standards. All of you have and will contribute substantially to the RCSI research profile, which is of ever-increasing importance as rankings assume greater significance in the world of higher education. I know that no one will mind if I single out for special mention our new PhDs, as their achievements are truly outstanding and inspiring. I'm sure everyone knows the quote about more and more about less and less. The words belong to Nobel Prize winner Konrad Lorenz, the, Aust the Austrian zoologist and ethologist, and he wrote, philosophers are people who know less and less about more and more until they know nothing about everything. Scientists are people who know more and more about less and less until they know everything about nothing. I will say nothing about philosophers, but I'm sure that with regard to scientists, he was being facetious. Despite the title of some of your theses, I don't for a moment think that any of you have become experts in nothing. The overarching justification for mankind's relentless quest for knowledge is ultimately so as to progress the betterment of mankind, be that in the provision of clean water for all, better understanding of the mechanisms of disease, or the development of new therapies. We all know that despite the appetite of headline writers, there is never going to be a paper announcing the discovery of the cure for cancer. Rather, progress is made as in making a jigsaw puzzle, and your contributions are all valuable pieces of various puzzles. It is interesting that your thesis can be categorized as two being chemistry-based, two respiratory, two tissue engineering, two cardiovascular, and two infection immunology and that most of these pairs contain a match of one basic sciences and one from clinical translational population health area. This surely highlights our institutional potential for synergy in bringing scientific discoveries forward to providing practical solutions and outcomes. And so we wish you every success as you pursue careers in your chosen fields and continue to advance the frontiers of our knowledge and understanding for the benefit our patients, of our patients and know that as you do so, you will be excellent ambassadors for our CSI. A great hero of mine is Dennis Burkett, an Irish surgeon from Fermanagh, my own home place, who toiled in East Africa 50 years ago, and who with minimal resources and no formal scientific training, he managed to discover the epidemiology cause and treatment of a common fatal childhood cancer, now called Burkett's lymphoma. I will leave you with his favorite exhortation which is apt for all of you as you toil in the health sciences for the betterment of your fellow man. Attitudes are more important than abilities. Motives are more important than methods. Character is more important than cleverness. And the heart takes precedence over the head. Congratulations once again. Thank you. I'd now like to call on the Chancellor of the National University of Ireland, Dr. Morris Manning. President of RCSI, President of PSI, Vice President, RCSI, Registrars, colleagues, new graduates, ladies and gentlemen. As Chancellor of the National University of Ireland, I'm delighted to be here this evening for the conferring of master's and doctoral degrees on students of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. Since this is a postgraduate conferring, and you've all previously experienced at least one other conferring ceremony, I promise, like the speakers who've gone before me, to keep my remarks brief and let the festivities commence. The purpose of a conferring ceremony is to provide formal and public endorsement of your individual and collective academic achievements. In this ceremony, we're conferring degrees on individuals who have successfully completed master's and doctoral programs here at RCSI. In qualifying for postgraduate uh, degrees, you've deepened your knowledge uh, and uh, in your respective disciplines of medicine, pharmacy, or other health sciences. You've broadened your expertise and developed higher level skills. Your intellectual capacity has been stretched beyond what was required for your first degree. 
your ability to master substantial bodies of information has been challenged. You've been called upon to analyze difficult material, to cope with complexity, and to make sense of sometimes conflicting ideas and contradictory evidence. All of you have conducted research and made your own personal discoveries based on this. In particular, those of you who have completed doctorates have expanded not just your own, but the wider range of human knowledge. Through your research, you have generated new knowledge and gained valuable new understanding, understandings of the world and of the human condition. While at this stage, I'm sure that you're delighted to see your thesis and dissertations in hard covers and put to bed. If you stand back a little from it, you can appreciate that the activity you have been engaged in is exciting and it is important. To bring your studies to completion has required determination and stamina in addition to the necessary intellectual capacity in your studies. For all of these qualities and for your sustained academic efforts, some of you, over the past year, others over several years, you deserve great commendation. I applaud your achievements and I congratulate you warmly. Your enhanced knowledge, your competence and skills will be of benefit to you in your professional lives and will also be of considerable benefit to the health services, whether here in Ireland or wherever you may practice. You, you can ex be expected to be in the forefront in innovation, in improving quality and standards of practice. You can take great pride today in what you have accomplished. Your families too, who have supported you in many different ways, can also take pride in your achievements. They should feel entitled to the full share in the celebrations and will also, in many cases, I expect, uh, have a certain uh, sense of relief at the completion of your current cycle of learning. But there is another reason why it is particularly gratifying to confer postgraduate degrees. Consider the range of capabilities developed and the complexity of the material. The in-depth interrogation and analysis of theoretical foundations, the coping with contradictory signals, the sustained application required to bring problems to a satisfactory conclusion. Life in contemporary society calls for these kinds of capabilities. And it is very pleasing, and I think it's a, something of which RCSI can be justly proud of the way in which here in RCSI these qualities are so well developed. Technological development in the 21st century is giving rise to complex issues for society which simply did not arise for earlier generations. An important part of the role and the responsibility of the university, university today is to generate the capacity in society to ventilate these issues in all their complexity and to enable well-founded choices to be made. Now, I'm not, of course, suggesting that to vote in a constitutional referendum, such as the recent ones, you need to have postgraduate qualifications. Rather, I'm pointing to the need for public policy and public discourse on its formulation to be able to keep pace with the eye-watering speed of technological development. The welcome and continued development of postgraduate education brings with it important social gains for Irish society over and above the immediate gains for the, for the professional activity involved. And may I say how utterly impressed I was with the wonderful speech on your behalf by Dr. Ethna Sexton when she spoke. She struck me as being very brave or being very confident when she arrived up here with no script whatsoever. I was trusting herself not to have what they call a brain freeze or not to uh, suddenly lose her way, but no, she said what she had to say with great eloquence and directness, very eloquently, and I think spoke, I think you could all be very proud of the way in which she spoke on all your behalfs. I must say I felt envious 
of the way the eclat with which she carried off her speech. So on behalf of the National University of Ireland, I welcome those conferred this evening into the postgraduate, postgraduate ranks of the university. I wish you continued success and professional fulfillment in your careers. I hope that throughout your lives you will continue to maintain the common bond you now share with the community of NUI graduates, a community that is sustained through a spirit of, kin of kinship with fellow graduates across the social and professional context. Wherever you go, trust that you will find in it a great sense of friendship and support. For the President, the Registrar, the Dean, and all the staff of RCSI, the conferring of new cohorts of graduates with qualifications up to the highest postgraduate level is also an occasion for pride in the achievements of the college in medicine, in pharmacy, and in the health sciences, and a cause for celebration. On behalf of the National University of Ireland, I congratulate you and commend you for these latest achievements. Can I thank our speakers for their comments? Uh, that concludes the RCSI degree conferring ceremonies. We'll shortly proceed to the group photograph with our academics and our new graduates. If I could ask our graduates to remain in the college hall for the group photographs. I would also like to invite you, our graduates, and your guests to join us for a reception in the boardroom. And now if I could finally ask you to please be upstanding for the outward procession.